Typically, platform transformation happens in three steps. The first step, as with the container example, is one where you benefit from efficiencies and you need this short-term business case so that you can digitize the key assets that constitute your business model. As an example, uh, if you think of the retail industry, the retail industry had a very clear um, business case for digitization because users would come offline into the shops and uh, browse around and then they would go online and buy things somewhere else. And so there was a clear need for retailers to start digitizing user interactions in the store so that they could then follow the user online and target him over there. So you need to start with a short term business case where digitization creates immediate efficiencies. It helps you gain lost revenue, it helps you make more of the same revenue, but it needs to start with an efficiency business case. What happens after that is once you start digitizing the user interactions with the business, the business's assets and resources, you come to a point where you can start benefiting from economies and potentially even evolve the business model. So again, if you take the retailer example, because user inter interactions were getting digitized, on the other side, they also had to digitize how their assets were moving within the stores. And when they started digitizing that, they started ensuring that suppliers who were supplying to them were also participating on the central digital infrastructure. And so they now could track and trace assets across the whole supply chain. And that led to the benefits of economy of connecting everything together. Eventually, what happens is that once you've digitized this, once you've connected all of your enterprise, once you have a single view of the customer, you are at a point where you can start harnessing the external ecosystem. Because you need to be at a, you need to have as a firm, you need to have a single view of external participants before you can start creating a business model that involves interactions between external participants. The reason a lot of companies fail but when they try to copy Uber or Airbnb or any of these platforms is that they don't think about it in this phased out manner. First of all, if you straight away go from saying we used to sell this product, now we want to be the Uber of our industry, there is no business case in the short term. There is probably a pipe dream in the long run, but there is no clear roadmap towards a new architecture. And what I've seen repeatedly when companies do this well, they always follow this roadmap that takes them down this journey. The second thing that this shows and demonstrates is that unless you have a single view of the ecosystem across the organization, you cannot credibly orchestrate an external ecosystem. What a lot of companies do, especially telcos, what, what a lot of companies do is they create a separate business unit that tries to act like a platform, but the rest of the business does not talk to it. And because of that, there is no central view of the ecosystem and the advantage that you have of leveraging your incumbent knowledge of your partners, of your customers is lost because the incumbent uh, business clients do not have a single view of the ecosystem. And that is why this phased approach and the end idea of creating an architecture of transformation becomes really important when we think about digitization and, and the impact on the business.